The sequel to the film picks up shortly after the events of the first installment. Tyler Rake, portrayed by Chris Hemsworth, survives a harrowing fall and serious injuries. He finds himself hospitalized in Dubai, where his partner Nick, played by Golshifta Farahani, stands vigil by his side until he regains consciousness. During their conversation, Nick implores Tyler to discover the purpose behind his miraculous survival. Meanwhile, in a Georgian prison, the notorious crime boss Zura Bradiani, portrayed by Tornike Gagrakiani, learns that his younger brother David, played by Tornike Bziava, faces an additional 10 years added to his prison sentence. Zurab takes matters into his own hands, violently dispatching the government official responsible for extending David's sentence. Alongside his henchmen, the Nagatsi, Zurab orchestrates David's escape. Tyler is transported to a secluded cabin in Austria by Nick and her brother Yaz, played by Adam Bessa, as he contemplates his retirement. While Tyler indulges in personal pursuits, he remains haunted by the loss of his son and the dissolution of his marriage. David is joyously reunited with his wife Ketevin, portrayed by Tinat and Dalakishvili, and their children Sandro and Nina, played by Andro Japarij and Miriam and Marta Kavziashvili, respectively. Despite Ketevin's objections, David is determined to initiate his son Sandro into the Nagatsi, a decision met with admiration from the young boy. Tyler's solitude is interrupted by the enigmatic Alcott, portrayed by Idris Elba, who persuades him to consider a new job opportunity. Alcott divulges the story of the Nagatsi, detailing their escape from the Georgian Civil War and their abusive upbringing, which led to Zurab's protective nature toward David. Tyler is tasked with rescuing Ketevin and her children from their prison, where they are held alongside David. To accomplish this mission, Tyler recruits Nick and Yaz and undergoes rigorous training. The trio infiltrates the prison and successfully retrieves Ketevin and her children without arousing David's suspicion. However, the prison population becomes aware of the escape, forcing Tyler into confrontations with hostile inmates. A brief but intense clash with David culminates in Tyler fatally injuring him. As they make their escape, Tyler and the family encounter more adversaries during a chaotic prison riot. Tyler guides them to Nick and Yaz's waiting van, but Zurab quickly learns of his brother's demise and orders his men to pursue them. A high-speed car chase ensues, resulting in Nina's injury. The group boards a train, which is pursued by a helicopter filled with Zurab's men. Tyler valiantly fights off the attackers and protects the family until the train derails and crashes. Zurab identifies David's body and vows revenge. Meanwhile, the protagonists and the rescued family recover from the ordeal, with Sandro discovering that Tyler was responsible for his father's death. They board a plane, and Nick uncovers a surprising connection between Ketevin and Tyler as former siblings-in-law. This revelation prompts a poignant moment of reflection on Tyler's past marriage to Ketevin's sister, but unbeknownst to them, Sandro secretly contacts Zurab to reveal their whereabouts. The team seeks refuge in a safe house in Vienna, where tensions rise as Ketevin realizes Sandro's betrayal. As the villains close in and open fire, Tyler escorts Nina and Ketevin to safety while Yes pursues Sandro, who ultimately joins forces with Zurab. Tyler, Nick, and Yaz engage in a fierce battle against Zurab's henchmen, resulting in Yaz's fatal injury. They manage to escape by boarding a getaway chopper, but Yaz succumbs to his wounds, leaving Nick devastated. Returning to his cabin, Tyler is joined by his ex-wife Mia, portrayed by Olga Kurilenko, who arrives to support her sister and niece. In a private conversation, Mia questions Tyler about his absence during their son's final moments, to which he reveals his sense of helplessness and inability to witness their child's passing. Zurab contacts Tyler, and the two agree to a final confrontation. Tyler eliminates Zurab's means of escape by destroying his vehicles and plane. After dispatching Zurab's henchmen, Tyler confronts Zurab in a violent and bloody showdown. In a desperate move, Zurab reveals a bomb strapped to Sandro's body, threatening to detonate it if he is killed. Nick arrives to assist and is shot but manages to help Sandro disarm the bomb. The confrontation between Tyler and Zurab reaches its climax with Tyler ultimately ending Zurab's life by gunfire. Nick falls unconscious from her injuries, and both she and Tyler are discovered by the authorities. Tyler and Nick are placed under police custody and hospitalized. Mia visits Tyler in prison and informs him that Ketevin and the children are in protective custody but have lost their assets due to the American government's actions. Tyler instructs Mia to retrieve a million dollars in cash from his cabin to provide for them. Alcott later secures Tyler's release from prison, offering him a new job opportunity. 
Tyler insists on having Nick involved, and Alcott obliges by bailing her out as well, presenting them with an opportunity to work for his organization. I'm not